connection with uh, the rediscovery of Vidhan Sauda, we have some of the finest paintings even in this great hall, Karnataka Legislative Assembly. The one such paintings which I uh, am just showing here is uh, uh, Kengel Hanumantaya, who is the chief architect of this grandest building, a monumental building. In fact, uh, this has been uh, a beautiful painting being done by Madhugiri Ram, one of the finest paintings that we always see. And this has been adorned in the assembly. It's always an inspiration of this great man. The other uh, painting which we see is that Dr. Sarvapalli Radhakrishna. The painting is a beautiful painting, and definitely this painting is a constant inspiration about the role of the teachers. Above him, we see uh, we have... Uh, the painting of uh, Dr. Rajendra Prasad, who uh, came over and inaugurated the state for renaming of the state all the way. He came from 2,000 kilometers from train. And he happened to be a uh, first president of the nation, and it was uh, a great uh, uh, opportunity for the Karnataka. In fact, he was a great, uh, he is a man who stayed the constitution making and when he was a president of the Constant Assembly. But these photos are always the constant inspiration of this great hall. And let me move on to the left side of the Honorable Speaker's chair. In fact, here we see uh, the photo of uh, uh, the Sardar Vallabhai Patel. Sardar Vallabhai Patel, who, who is a key person in, in, IT, in unification process of the entire India, and likewise, even Kengel Hanumantaya played a major role. But here... Uh, uh, the great kings, especially the Mysore kings, lend him the Elika, I mean a plane, uh, to tour the entire country in the process of unification. Apart from this, he gave, uh, he's a man who uh, emphasized about the, the civil services also. And uh, not only that, he, he was a great administrator. Apart from that, coming to the next uh, photo which we see, the painting of uh, uh, Madhuguri Ram, the same painter, a classical painting, and this is uh, regarding the father of constitution, the lord of constitution, uh, Dr. B.R. Hambedkar Saab. Hambedkar Saab, I am short of words to tell anything about him. His, his inventions are, are something spectacular, and no person or no human can do it. And highly a qualified man, and he, he struggled throughout his life, uh, I, I mean, to fight against the caste system. And he finally, he adopted the Buddhism and he innovated it, and he preached it. And not only that, in an academic part, he was a first law minister. He brought great reforms, as I said, even uh, during the process of elections halls.